some recent deals, I've totally forgot about the fact that we bought this car and I haven't showed anything on any of the Instagram or Facebook. But since we won't be able to turbocharge the V10 over the fact that we can't find anybody to tune the car or tune the truck afterwards, we bought a Mustang with no motor, 5.0 roller. And we're going to do something that I honestly never thought that I was going to do. And that's a LS swap because everybody freaking does the LS swaps. So I was like, I don't want to be that guy. But my buddy talked me into it and he said, just buy, buy a car. He wanted me to get a freaking single cab short bed Chevy. But I like the idea of the Mustang with the LS motor in it. So... We bought the car, and then I had the intention of putting a 5.3 in it with a 350 turbo trans, and then just running it like that with the Holly kit. On the deal of going to find, or get the truck that we were going to use as a donor truck, I ended up finding a different motor for the same, well, a little bit less than what the donor truck was going to be, and it, I couldn't pass it up because how can you pass up a freaking 6.0 liter LS for 500 bucks? I mean, you just can't. But I guess I'll let you guys look at the car and we'll see what happens. It's pretty clean on the inside part of it. And then the interior super tank. We're planning on taking both of the front seats out and putting different seats in on that with racing uh, strap or point harnesses. You know, you know the order. But the outside not so clean. I need some work for sure. Definitely isn't gonna win no beauty contest. Need some freaking. Headlight lenses over here. Overall, I mean, it's not a bad car. We paid $600 for the car itself. And we've got the motor in it right now, just kind of chilling. Because where it's sitting right now, I don't have the best spot to. motor's just kind of chilling in it right now because, well, I don't have a shop to work in. This is the best we can do right now. But we're working on figuring out how we're going to mount those, the motor mounts. I think we're going to have to fab up like a little plate to come off of where it normally bolts to get the motor to sit in spot. And then spot over here that I plan to put the turbo right in there somewhere because we're going to have to have some room for a radiator. We're going to probably, I think, put an electric fan, that way we don't have the big fan, clutch fan sticking out. And we can save room for the turbo, of course. But as you guys can probably see, the intake is too tall. So I'm going to have to get a smaller intake and possibly have to get another hood as well to, you know, get it to work. That's okay. Because, I mean, if it looks cool, it looks cool. If not, then I'm not really worried about it because you don't have to look cool to go fast. But there it is. Just, just for future references of what, we're, what we've got going on. If you haven't seen a whole lot from the V10 anymore, it's just been kind of chilly. But, I'm on it.
Texas. American made. They are pretty much bolt like bolt right on. No problem. Ninety dollars. I mean it comes with everything you need to put Both everything sides, on. All the hardware. It's more hardware than what we're gonna need. I mean oh, yeah. I mean they've got pretty much everything. You got replacement frame bolts in case you snap one or something. They do sell just the plates the adapter plates for LS. LS motors to where you can reuse the stock uh, factory motor mounts. Motor mounts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I I didn't want to have to buy freaking stock motor mounts because they're going to pretty much cost the same amount as these. And these are a nice solid mount. Everything, I mean, everything looks good. The welds are pretty solid. They got good All powder coat. <laughs> All powder coated. I don't see any issues. Your bolts are fast so they don't rotate on you. You ain't got to screw with two different wrenches at the same time. All that. Hopefully it'll work. It looks like it should. This is honestly probably like a one person job. Pretty easily if they wanted to. Oh yeah. But there ain't no fun in working by yourself. <laughs> um, the one thing it didn't come with, instructions. Yeah. We're going to show you how to put it together and then as we're putting it in you'll somewhat see also so first of all you're gonna have your big, big lock nut. nut up here on top and that'll go through your frame and everything and then you've got some short bolts and some oh, like right. longer right. bolts and then you have got your five holes here so your short ones are gonna go here that's not a short one. Here's a short one, right there. And you got lock washers and stuff you'll put on appropriately. And then you got a longer one here, longer one here, and then a longer one with a flat washer that goes in between. If I can get it on there. And then another lock nut on the bottom. These ones will go actually into your block, where this one, actually I've got it in there upside down, that's my bad. It's just going on there to keep this mount from yeah, moving. Yeah, just to keep the, basically keep the mount more connected to the plate, gives it another contact point, a little extra strength, and it'll basically go like that. And of course, like I said, you got lock washers that will go accordingly on these four. Pretty self-explanatory. I mean, we've never seen them before, and we figured it out with no instructions. Never did it once. Yeah. But that's the mounts. Uh, we'll put a link for Street Rays Incorporated's eBay page where we got these in the description below. All right, so we freaking got the mounts on, but unfortunately, the oil pan is kind of sitting on the rack and pinion. So we're going to have to pull the motor back out because we've got it in on this side. But we're going to have to pull the motor out and I've got a different oil pan that we're going to put on and hopefully be able to do some clearance. If not, we're probably going to have to put some like spacers right in here to lift the motor up enough to keep it from hitting the rack and pinion. Unless I can find a decent uh, K-member swap that's not going to freaking kill the budget. I'm already running on fumes for money as it is. <laughs> but that's it for this portion of the video.